I watched Maria Mokta's video in full from start to the end and trying to identify what is the issue she's trying to highlight. Now this is what I gather as a listener. She is a fan of Muda. Uh, she is upset with what is happening previously, yeah? what happened previously in the previous governments. Even what the Maidani government is doing now, uh, it is a disappointment. And she sees Buddha as the future and she is a pro supporter of Buddha. She likes Buddha and she had a lot of hopes on Sheikh Sadiq. Tapi bagaimanapun, Sheikh Sadiq has been found guilty by the court and is put into jail. And how she looks at it is that, you know, uh, he, she can't argue that Sheikh Sadiq committed a crime. Uh, her comment about is excessive, I think not relevant because I already made a voice to explain how it is actually minimum. The, if you really want to argue excessive, then you should argue what the AG did, what the prosecution did because prosecution charged him for four charges, all of which he was guilty, but each four of those charges carried a very heavy maximum sentence of prison, whipping and also fine. Jadi, uh, that four yang teruk tu, the minute you are prosecuted with that four, the court just process that and to check whether you are guilty of that or not. And once the court determine you are guilty, the court will choose appropriately inside there and I already explained how the judge chose the minimum possible, uh, almost the minimum possible for Sheikh Sadiq. Given that, uh, you know, what he stole uh, or took was 1 million plus saja compared to the many millions of the other kleptocrats and that uh, you know he did not use that to personally enrich himself but nevertheless the crime was committed so therefore as far as Syed Sadiq punya case is concerned the prosecution did whatever that was available under law Syed Sadiq committed whatever offences it was charged during Muhyiddin's time uh, you can argue and say Muhyiddin had ulterior motive and, you know, uh, tried to make good a trap to Sheikh Sadiq for not supporting him. So that was charged there. It's got nothing to do with the subsequent Prime Ministers. Ismail Sabri ke, Anwar ke, they got nothing to do with that. The charge has already gone on. It already went to court. The court determined there's a prima facie. And there is nothing untoward about the courts. And you kata, uh, judge lain lepas yang ni, judge yang ni uh, hukum Syed Sadiq, they're not the same judges. They don't discuss their cases with each other. Jadi, this particular judge, apa salah ya? Why nak kata judiciary kita tak fair? So, that's not, that's not, that itself is a fair statement. So, as far as the judiciary is concerned, as far as Syed Sadiq punya matter is concerned, it is unfortunate, but, the law applies and there's nothing untoward, there's nothing wrong done by this government. Uh, whether or not uh, PMX is upset with Syed Sadiq or suka Syed Sadiq, he did not interfere in anything. He does not interfere in the judiciary. So therefore, uh, the decision, the judiciary punya decision was during Anwar Mehta time. It's got nothing to do with Madani government. The court decided and Syed Sadiq is sentenced to whatever the punishment that was meted out on him. That, uh, that's about to be meted out on him. Now, he is appealing. So, the appeals will go through. So, bukan dia kenal lagi pun. Dia boleh appeal lah. Tapi, the prospect of overturning itu, I doubt it lah. Because of the facts of the case. Okay? So, itu satu. Satu lagi, you buat statement kata Zahid, people like Zahid just walk free. That's not fair. That's DNAA. Uh, this charge not amounting to acquittal. So sekarang ni, rather than you buat video and you nak comment or complain, why don't you tell Syed Sadiq and Muda and all the other MPs? Tanya lah government sekarang ni what's happening to Zaid punya DNA. DNA tu is cita tak sudah. Cita tak habis lagi. So therefore, kita nak tahu apa persudahan dia. So tanya, what is happening? What happened to your 11 cogent reasons tu? Have you start working on it? Kan you tak buat apa pun. Jadi kalau government kata we tak buat apa pun, we don't intend to do anything, we don't have any update, any status, we're leaving it as DNA hanging perpetually, endlessly, uh, then you can make a statement as a, you can make that statement to say 
that uh, you know, orang yang curi punya banyak-banyak million just walk free. Then you can say that. Huh? You tak boleh kata only Syed Saddiq kena. Najib is in jail kan? For the Asarsi punya case, huh? he has got to pay 210 million fine. Syed Saddiq 10 million saja. Najib tak dapat caning because Najib tak boleh pasal dia above uh, apa ni, uh, 50 years old. Jadi, um, as far as apa ni, uh, sentence is concerned, Najib lagi lama. So, as far as uh, Syed Saddiq is concerned, uh, the number of years tu dah explain dah. Dia bukannya bagi satu selambak tujuh tahun. Tak. It's actually three years plus two years. And then, dua-dua sembilan. Tapi, dua-dua yang belakang tu, run concurrently. That's how it became seven. So, that's minimum. Bear in mind, uh, the minimum... Uh, the maximum uh, sentence for those is 15 years and 20 years now, each. So, bila dia bagi tiga, dua, 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 macam tu, that is not the judge being overzealous lah. So, there's nothing wrong. You not pick on Syed Saddiq Mekir, siapa? You're just upset pasal Syed Saddiq sekarang ni uh, uh, jatuh and not able to help you realise your dream Malaysia you rasa perubahan boleh berlaku terus muda I would argue that lah maybe maybe not I'm not, I'm not sure I also like muda uh, you know uh, punya ideals I just don't like Syed Saddiq punya impact in the mouth uh, pi tuduh sini tuduh sana you know so that's what I don't like tapi apart from that there are good virtues of this guy and still since he's still an MP you patut lobby Syed Saddiq lah tu tanya apa jadi kes Zahid uh, bukan KZ ya, what about Musa Ahmad, whatever lah, all those DNA cases, tanya prosecution, what is happening? Call out the prosecution, if they are bluffing, call them out. You do that. Jadi, you jangan comment apa yang dah betul, eh. whatever that's done law, eh, by law betul. Najib punya case dah betul, Najib, Najib dah masuk jail. Uh, Syed Saddiq dah convicted, itu pun I don't see anything wrong with the court punya judgement. Uh, Rosmah pun dah convicted. Uh, Rosmah pun I don't see anything wrong with the judgement. Semua orang nak appeal. Everybody wants to appeal. Uh, for now, Rosmah dengan Syed Saddiq is still walking free because they are under appeals. Tapi kalau eventually sangkut juga, they also will join Najib. So, uh, Guat Nia Meki is still ongoing. So, tak ada orang lepas apa pun. So, uh, tengoklah apa jadi. What the court will decide. So, sekarang ni, what we should focus... Uh, all those yang DNA, yang mana yang, uh, you know, yang tak betul. Comment pasal yang tak betul lah. You nak comment pasal yang betul simply because you punya hero dah kena, uh, dah kena apa ni, nak masuk jail, nak kena sebat, nak kena rotan. Yang tu tak kena tempat lah. Kan? So, at the end of the day, uh, don't make it sound like, you know, the current uh, administration is trying to silence the voice of reforms. Tak kena mengena. Okay. The one person yang shout reform tu sekarang ni dah kena indicted dah. Dah kena dah kena uh, prosecuted and dah convicted dah. So, salah siapa? Salah dia lah. Kalau silap ke apa buka jenayah, is jenayah lah. If you feel that is excessive, maknanya you're complaining about the law. So, then you try to tell the MPs now. To lobby lah kat parlimen, through parlimen, change the law then. Ah, make it lighter. Jadi, kalau lighter, then mungkin tak excessive bagi you. Kan? Nak remove rotan ke? Ah, nak nak remove apa ni? Ah, denda kali lima, one million times five, jadi five million ke? Jadi, nak bagi kat kali tiga ke? Ah, 20 tahun tu maybe nak kurangkan minimum tu, uh, kurang maximum jadi 10 years. 15 tahun tu maximum jadi 5 years. Ya, yeah, still, even then, Judge still bagi less than the, the the 5 dengan 10 kan? 3, 2, 2, 2 kan? So, tak boleh lah. You commit crime, you kena lah. Jadi, uh, you jangan kata only to Syed Saddiq. Ya, kalau only to Syed Saddiq. Kalau Syed Saddiq committed the crime, Syed Saddiq kena. Jadi, why don't you comment siapa yang commit crime tapi dilepaskan? So, tapi you kata Zaid dilepaskan, tak betul lah. DNA bukan dilepaskan. is discharge not amounting to acquittal. So, sekarang ni, since you tak amount to equity lagi, uh, you discharge because you ada reason that you assign, that you, the things that you need to do, what's happening to that? Uh, so, kalau you nak apa ni, tegakkan you punya assertion ketidakadilan, you push this DNA through. 
uh, get the government now, expose the government if government is really sweeping things under carpet for Zahid. Okay, what is the motivation of government doing this in order to hold on to Madani government, nak bagi government to stay intact, supaya tak fall ke apa semua. Itu semua you punya speculation, you are not proving it. You, If you prove that government sengaja nak lepaskan Zahid, uh, DNA dia is just a sham, then you can make that statement. Qualify whatever your assertions are. Otherwise, your video is not about build, building a better Malaysia. It's more melepas uh, geram you and you just want to cast aspersions on this government and the system uh, because you are championing Syed Sadiq. Tak boleh lah. That's tak betul. So, because of that, I tak setuju approach Maria Mokta on how she uh, brings about this video. I don't know, know what she's trying to achieve, what she's trying to accomplish. Uh, what is it that you want sebenarnya? You want them to lepaskan Syed Sadiq? Uh, Syed Sadiq? What? What you want? Because right now, whatever the matter on Syed Sadiq has got to go through the operation of the law. Are you suggesting that PMX atau the current administration interfere with the case in such a way to just lepaskan apa ni, uh, Syed Sadiq? Tak boleh, dia dah convicted dah. So, sekarang ni kalau Syed Sadiq appeal, Syed Sadiq kena appeal, Syed Sadiq kena get overturn. Kalau is overturn, uh, and then the prosecution boleh appeal balik at federal level. Uh, so, are you now suggesting that, you know, kalau is overturned at court of appeal level, then uh, PMX patut interfere and make sure the AG tak appeal to reinstate balik uh, the conviction. Uh, is that what you're suggesting? That runs against your uh, call on governance, kan? Uh, you, you, I'm sure you're against benda macam tu. So, sekarang ni, to me, the way I look at it, kalau based on your narrative, Syed Sadiq is destined for Sungai Buloh lah. Tak boleh buat apa pun. Ha, tapi, fokus lah on all those other cases tu yang mana lagi teruk. Kalau Syed Sadiq dah kena 7 tahun, 2 sebatan, 10 juta denda, orang yang buat lagi teruk, yang you kata lagi teruk tu, ha, we want to see the end of it lah. Itu, itu semua nak kena buat betul tu. Dia orang patut kena lagi teruk pasal Syed Sadiq. Why dia kena kurang pasal Syed Sadiq? So, uh, pesu, Zaid may DNA, Najib punya case is still ongoing. Rosmah punya appeal is ongoing. Apa lagi? Whatever. What other corruptor yang ada semua tu? We should go after all kleptocrats. Uh, I am... In that sense, I agree kalau Maria Mota nak insist that semua yang sakau should be given equal legal treatment. Lobby for that. Push for that. That's what we want. Uh, apa ni? It should not be about muda. So... Muda ada penyokong dia. Some people sokong muda, some people tak. So, muda got to make their, their way through lah. The political punya mileage. Dia punya strategi lah rasa tak betul. Because they don't want to ally with uh, other parties. Dia nak, dia bagi dia, ally dia kena parti yang perfect ya. Parti-parti yang tak perfect, kurang perfect tu, dia tak boleh ally. Dia gaduh, dia burn all bridges. Sekarang ni, dia punya presiden dah kena convicted. And siapa nak tolong sekarang ni? Susah lah kan? So, Anyway, apa ni, uh, that's my commentary about uh, Maria Mokhtar punya ni. She wants a better Malaysia. I want a better Malaysia. We all want a better Malaysia. Tapi cuma cara dia tu, I don't know what she's trying to achieve. Assalamualaikum. So, if you have any interesting ideas that can help build a better Malaysia, uh, please uh, put them in the comment section. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Uh, the subscription is free. You don't have to pay money. And we don't, you know, uh, YouTube doesn't give us your information. So there's no list of uh, subscribers. I just know the number of subscribers, but no information about who the subscribers are. And um, we are not monetized, so there's no advertisements. When you click on our videos, you straight away uh, watch our videos. You don't have to see annoying ads. Anyway, now please subscribe if you haven't done so. And please share our videos uh, far and wide. Terima kasih. Wassalam.
video resonated with you, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, leave a comment. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.